Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Cassie Nall and be prepared for the day today to keep an extra jacket handy because even though we're cool now, we're going to be even cooler as we finish out the day and especially as we go into tonight. We saw a frontal boundary move through the sun coast through the overnight hours and earlier this morning, bringing us quite a bit of rainfall. Three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain fell across the sun coast and that's good news this time of year. Now behind that front, we're seeing gradual clearing from north to south of the cloud cover and now the winds are starting to kick up. They will be very breezy through the day out of the north and the northwest and gusting as high as 25 to 30 miles an hour. That's going to help to usher in that unseasonably cold air. And that's also going to negate the sunshine that we're going to be seeing through the back half of the day. Temperatures will fall through the afternoon. Tonight we're going to be all the way down into the middle 30s inland with upper 30s in places like Northport, Port Charlotte and Fort Ogden, lower 40s a little bit closer to the coast. Not only are these temperatures cold, they're anywhere from 10 to 15 degrees below average. But then you continue the winds. Those will stay breezy through the overnight hours. That's why we have wind chill advisories in effect throughout the overnight hours and to start off our Thursday morning. Wind chill advisories are issued when it's going to feel like 35 degrees or cooler. So that gives you an idea. It's going to feel very chilly tomorrow morning. Be prepared to bundle up if you have to be out and about for an extended period tonight or especially early tomorrow morning and accessorize besides the layers hats, gloves, and scarves to help you keep yourself warm. And this is just the beginning. In fact, tomorrow night's going to be even colder than tonight will be. We have a secondary frontal boundary that's going to come through tomorrow, really helping to reinforce that Arctic air. And that means that on Friday morning, we actually have freeze watches in effect because you're gonna to need to go ahead and cover up or bring inside those sensitive plants. We have the potential to see the freezing mark right near the coast and upper 20s for our inland locations. You're also going to want to bring in the pets. They don't want to be out in the cold tonight or tomorrow. And again, for people, you're certainly going to want to be bundling up if you have to be heading out and about. These are our five P's of cold weather safety. Pipes and fire safety I don't think are going to be as much of a concern this time around, but the first three certainly something to take into account over the next couple of nights. And again, here's your seven-day forecast. Cold and windy for our Thursday after starting off in the upper 30s and lower 40s. Very, very chilly to start off Friday morning. The coldest air that we have seen in years here around the Sun Coast with some areas possibly breaking records that morning. And then luckily for us, as we go into the weekend, we're going to see quite a bit of sunshine and much milder temperatures. Stay tuned, SNN, your Sun Coast News Network, 24 hours a day, seven days a week on the channels listed there on your screen. And have a good Wednesday, everyone.